Croito is channeled like fluid. We're back with more after class. It's Parker's day seven today. We're heading back to our beach day. So let's just uh, start things off where we uh, left off last time with Parker. Uh, what now? Hey! I'm awake. You really are hard to wake up. My hands are sore from shaking you back to reality. We're going to deal with whatever these kids want us to do today, and you were here sleeping in. I swear. Oh, wait, where am I? Is this a dream? Oi, are you even listening to me? Huh, oh, huh. What's happening here? Am I being sent to the past? What is it? What are the memories I've forgotten? Right, the Bruno. Oh, ah. Oh, but no, you're not calling me that again. I'm going to tell Mom. Uh, sorry, brother. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, clean yourself. We'll see the others downstairs. Okay. Well then, now I should go downstairs. What's taking you so long? We're leaving soon. Sorry, didn't know how to turn on the shower. Jeez, you're so helpless. You should have asked me. I know, I'm sorry. Ah, you're fine, silly. Let's go downstairs. Okay. I'm sorry for taking so long, everyone. Up. Huh? Oh, whoa, I'm shaking. What's wrong? Wake up. Wake up, Bruno. I'm awake. You thought someone had woken you up. When you opened your eyes, there's only you in the room. Uh, what time is it? When you were about to extend your hand to reach the nightstand, you noticed a chunk of fur. What is this? Then you noticed it was moving, as if it was breathing. Should I poke it? You poked it with your index finger. <coughs> it, it snorts. I'm dumb, that's Mr Parker. I play my morning brain. Maybe I should get some more Zeds. Look at him, sleeping with no care in the world. He looks so fluffy and vulnerable. We did stuff last night. Maybe it's no big deal now. Where did you get that kind of mindset? Just a little bit. As soon as your hand offered over his tummy, he slowly opened his eyes, causing you to retract your hand. <sighs> Uh, what are you doing, Bruno? Uh, oh, you're awake. No wonder you didn't hear any snoring ever since you caught yourself staring at him. I'm just trying to reach my phone on the nightstand over there. Huh? Oh. Well, let me grab it for you. Uh, okay. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Parker. You're welcome. Oh, ah. Uh. Oh, what's wrong? Phone notification scared me. New message from Ms. Liz. Oh, she might be sending another vocal droid song to our group chat. <laughs> no, actually, she's in front of my house. She said, I called Parker, but he hasn't answered any of my calls. I'm going to pull that bear's tail off. That sounds scary. Oh, crap. Well, I'll open the door for her. Huh, actually, what's she doing here early in the morning? What's with Mr Parker? He was shaking. One way to find out, I guess. No one's wake the others up. You manoeuvred around your friends. They were sleeping in the living room since you had no guest rooms or anything alike, despite living in a big house. Well, she invested in a house with several guest rooms. Let's try opening the lock without waking them up. Good morning! <laughs> oh, you guys are being too loud. 
Uh, good morning, Miss Liz. Oh, I woke everyone up. I'm sorry, I thought everyone was awake. <laughs> huh, nearly gave me a heart attack. Is she an intruder? F what are you, big kitty, a hitman? Oh, she's just a colleague. Okay. What are you doing here, Liz? Oh, I haven't told you guys yet. I'm not aware of it, no. Me neither. Well, she's here to go with us. Aren't your tickets... Well, I've got quite a lot. Sounds too good to be true. Well, anyway... Uh, I'm sorry, please make yourself at home, Miss Liz. Oh, don't mind if I do, Bruno. Your house really is nice. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, you boys are still lying down on the floor. Get up, rise and shine. Speaking of which, where is Parker? Uh, I think he's still in my room, half awake. Uh, Bruno? Yes? Mind show me where your room is? Uh, no, not at all. Here's my room, Liz. Thank you so much, Bruno. You're welcome. Some reason you felt obligated to open the door for her, so you did. You expected Mr. Parker to go back asleep at the time, but he's wide awake doing some stretches next to your bed. Well, Liz, uh, you're here. Don't you hear me, you lazy bear. I know you're still sleeping just a while ago. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you don't know? Explain these seven missed calls. It isn't known to you how you managed to have Mr. Parker's phone with her. My phone? Yes, your phone. My God, you boys are all lazy. If it wasn't for Bruno, I'd still be outside shivering like a poor damsel. I was. Also, oh, thank you for opening the door for me, Bruno. Just, I can't even depend on them. Uh, 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 no problem, Miss Liz. Uh, uh, call me Liz, you okay? We're friends outside of school. But of course, there's some boundaries you can't overstep, so please be mindful. Okay, uh, Liz. Now, okay, you, Parker. Uh, yes? This will take a while. I should go shower while they're at it. Holy shoot, what a ride that was. I thought you said you had plans. I did, but she cancelled me for a date with a boyfriend. I think she would pull out pull me, her best friend. She must be... If she wasn't... She wasn't someone silly dear man. She wouldn't feel bad. I want to give her that to Mark my words. You could see that everyone missed what she said, except that mark my words part. Ah, never mind me, I was rambling. <laughs> you don't say. I didn't even catch any of your words, how am I supposed to mark them? Mark, I couldn't mark her words. <laughs> oh, quiet, big kitty. Well, anyway, I guess I'll join you boys if you insist. No one insisted on you to join us. Did anyone hear anything? Well, <clears throat> since everyone's awake, oh, let's get ready. I'll start with taking a shower. Yeah, you're the only one who hasn't showered. Huh? <laughs> I showered. Fine, I won't be long. Mm hmm. Well, Lars and I will be in the kitchen making breakfast. Well, let me help you. Mr. Park was ready inside the bathroom, but he, for some reason, shoved the door and stopped Liz from helping Gil and Lars. No, you're not helping them. But why? They could use some help. Believe me or not, I'm a good cook. I don't believe you. I'll just make you believe me. Since talking with Liz yielded no result, Parker went to convince Coach Gill instead. Gill, I'm begging you, don't let her help you. Ah, uh, yeah, okay then. Lars stepped in, caressing Liz's cheek as he said something. Oh, sorry, darling, but we can handle this. What? Oh, uh, yes, if you insist, I'll stay here. A moment, Bruno. Is that the same big kitty we knew? 
I know, right? What just happened? You guys are aware that I'm here, right? Yep. I didn't know he had it in him. This is interesting. What are you boys talking about? Uh, nothing too important. If you say so. Ah, yeah, Mark. Yes? Thank you for letting me join you guys. Well, that's no problem. They're more than merrier, right? Of course. Enters. Yes, Miss Liz. Oh, please, call me Liz. All right, uh, Liz. Uh, what is it? I'm glad you decided to hang out with them. It's no big deal. Oh, no big deal, he said. I don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea how it was to convince you. Well, either way, happy you guys are here. I've never had sleepovers with my friends. Let alone going on a trip. We'll make sure it's the best you've ever had. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, you guys, breakfast is ready. Oh, okay. Oh. I know what you're thinking. Not enough chairs for everyone. Yeah. Well, that's no problem. I'll eat in the living room. Hmm, same here. You guys are here. Uh, seems like there's not enough seats for everyone, huh? Ah, uh, you're right. Then we should let them take our seats then. Ah, uh, no need to do that. You guys keep your seats. We'll be in the living room after we get our food. <laughs> oh. You sure it's okay, Bruno? It's your house after all. Hmm, I have Mark and Anders with me. We'll do fine. Well, if you say so. Come on, let's get away and head to the living room. Yeah. Okay, now that we ate, what should we do next? I think we should make sure we have everything we need for the trip. Oh, sounds like a good idea. Oh, hmm, let's see. I think I have all I need, but no harm in making sure. You sat down examining the contents of your backpack. Got my spare clothes here. Water bottle. Hmm, wallet is here. I think I have everything. While everyone's busy checking their backpacks, you notice that Mr. Parker was sitting on the floor looking troubled. He saw you looking at him, so he scooted over to approach you. Oh, hey, Bruno. Hmm, do you need something, Mr. Parker? Ah, uh, no, I just saw you looking at me. Oh, <laughs> I just wonder why you weren't checking your bag. Oh, well, I did. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about it earlier. What do you mean? Well, I feel bad for letting you eat in the living room, especially that we're the guests. Oh, please, that's fine. We had fun eating in the living room. We had a great talk. Oh, I'm glad then. Okay, I'm done. Uh, same here. How about the others? Uh, I'll talk to you soon, Bruno. Let's sit next to each other in the bus, okay? Alrighty. Well, I'm good. I have everything I need. Good, how about you, Bruno? Seems like I'm not forgetting anything. Uh, good to hear. What about Liz and Lars? Oh, I don't have a lot to bring with me. There's nothing I left out. All good. Well, seems like everyone's ready. I say we head over to Bublix and wait for the bus now. Agreed? Wow, Coach Girl being the leader for once. That's refreshing. Girl, there's no bus here. Are you sure we're not too late? We're fine, it's just that we arrived too early. We should rent a car so we could drive there by ourselves. <laughs> well, we can't drive, can we? Well, I have a driver's license. My dad doesn't allow me to drive a car. I can drive, but my license has been suspended. Reckless driving, hee <laughs> Why do you seem so proud about it? Anyway, it's already too late to rent a car. You want us to go by car, you should have told us way back. Yeah, I said to one who told everyone to have a sleepover at my place without my permission. How am I supposed to know? Tch, tch, excuses. He has a point, you know. Oh, shush you. 
Why well, if I'm going to take a nap on that bench? A nap, really? The guy's got to do what he does. Wait, you know, once the bus arrives. And there he goes. Serious about taking a nap here, right, Anders? Why don't you see for yourself? He's already falling asleep. Wow. He's full of surprises, isn't he? Yeah, I'm concerned if he has narcolepsy. He doesn't. Seems like he's, he's exhausted. Aren't we all? Uh, true. Right, Anders, do you have a moment? Uh, sure. All right, come here. What do you need? I guess it's just here, us here now. <laughs> well, that's fine by me. Are you excited about the trip? Hmm, it's my first time going on a trip with my friends. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Well, I'm happy for you. Let's make it a great trip together. Hey, okay. Yes, Mr. Parker. Oh, yes? I just want to make sure. You saw whatever happened between you and Lars. Oh, uh, yeah, we did, thankfully. I'm glad to hear that. It seems like you guys needed it. Yeah, that's actually true. I gotta thank you for that, Bruno. Oh, you're welcome, Mr. Parker. Frank barely did anything. Or maybe not to you, but you helped us. I'm glad. Well, I seem to get along with Liz, don't you think so? Oh, yeah. I still can't believe what Lars did to convince Liz. I thought I was alone with Mark on that. Oh, no way. I was trying not to drop my jaw. That was really surprising. Well, I'm glad he did that. Oh, you're not the only one. I didn't want it to burn down your house. <laughs> is it really that bad? Oh, it is. Oh, I wish you'd seen how she managed to overtoast bread. I feel her. <laughs> I bet you're not that bad of a cook. Why, thank you for putting faith in me, Mr. Parker. Always. Are you jealous that I've been so chummy? Hmm? Why would I? I'm just wondering. Okay. I guess it's not Liz. Which makes sense. He told me his feelings towards one of his students. I wish it was me. But then again, we're not allowed to date each other. School rules and all. Oh, the bus is here. Uh, I'll tell the others. You can go first, Bruno. Alrighty. Let's see. As expected, there were no other passengers inside the bus. I can sit anywhere I want, yay! These front seats are a no-go. Oh! The seat you're looking for located at the back. You looked at the windows you sat down. Mr. Parker was waking Mark up. Once everyone was inside, Mr. Parker headed in and sat down next to you. Well, thanks for saving a spot for me, Bruno. Well, it's more like no one offered to sit next to me. Haha, <laughs> I see. What are we going to do now? Well, here's what we're going to do. Mark, who sat across from you, handed some to Mr. Parker and you. They were tickets for the bus ride. This is new. Well, apparently it's required for a trip to Waterfront. Oh, really? Even that dude is holding something I've ever seen. What the fuck is that? Is he a conductor? Well, it seems like it. Is this like the 90s? <laughs> The best departing for Waterfront Village is about to close its doors in five minutes, and a ticket check is about to commence. Please have your tickets or passes ready for inspection. Thank you. About time. Well, I'll be minding my own business now. Have fun, you two. You too, Mark. Phew. Are you okay? Ah, yeah, nervous and excited. I see, I see. Loosen up, let's just enjoy the ride. You're right. When the conductor asked the tickets, you handed yours to him and he lifted up that thing you'd been looking at. Mr. Parker told you it was a ticket puncher. At first you thought he'd literally punch a ticket with it, but apparently he used it to punch a hole in the ticket. I don't know why, but I'm disappointed. What's it do, Mr. Parker? 
We sold my ticket, I mean. Well, it just means your ticket has been used. Ooh, okay. The bus will be departing shortly. Oh, here we go. Ah, right, I've ordered Lizzie's music player. Oh, I haven't seen those in forever. Yeah, she has some weird things. Let's see what music she has. Oh, of course, it's all vocal droid. Well, that's fine by me. I listen to that all the time. I hope you all got the note there. Ah, finally here. I know, right? My ass hurt from sitting too long. Yeah, it feels really fresh here. Oh, yeah, it does feel a lot lighter here than in Highwell. I bet, especially since it's a small village, there's little to no pollution. Oh, those songs will stick with me. <laughs> does that mean you'll listen to it more? As if I hadn't listened to enough at home. Are you questioning my music taste, Parker? Of course not. Wait. Lars noticed the bushes over there were rustling. He watched the bushes as he shifted his stance into a fighting position. His tail was moving from side to side, and that wasn't a good thing for tigers. <laughs> wow! A tiger man jumped out of the bush as if he were about to catch his prey. As agile as that tiger was, Lars was faster. He whacked the other tiger with his fist on the head before he had a chance to get closer. Oh, what was that about? Holy crap, that startled me. Mark was the first one to say something. That was the second time he acted out of character. It wasn't necessarily a bad thing, though. Always funny to see you startled. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's cute, Mark. Hey, I'm still here, you know. All right, what do you want? Ah, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Torahiko, but for the sake of simplicity, let's just call me Tora. Tora, hmm, I like it. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> anyway, I heard you guys were coming here today, so I waited here. All right, I remember. We're going to stay the night in this big cat's inn. Oh, I'm not sure why he was here in the first place. Let's just say I want to make your trip easier. <laughs> That's not important. I'll bring you to the inn right away. Oh, we'd appreciate that. Right, you guys are going to the beach, yes? Well, that's what we plan to do. Well, you guys are lucky then. It's taken you five or six hours to get there back then. They recently made a shortcut. So it'll take you around one or two hours. I don't know how they did it, but boy, I'm grateful for that. No more car trips. Oh, sorry, coach. We'll go in there whether you like it or not. Yikes, you remind me of one of my friends. I think so. Well, that friendly yours must be boring. Mark. Uh, sorry about that. Please don't mind he says that much. That's just how he is. <laughs> That's okay. You remind me of someone I used to know too. Hmm? That's for another time. You guys must be exhausted, yes? Well, let's hop on. Here we are. My family's in. Are you sure this rundown is where I'll be staying tonight? Mark, be polite. Hey, you're not supposed to sail in front of the owner's son. Kidding aside, we're thriving, sorta. Of. I can't thank you guys though, our village is not doing well nowadays. We barely have visitors. Really? I'd have thought this place would have had a lot of tourists. Well, truth be told, there's no attraction in here than the one made by my friend. <laughs> not to mention some more child's play than real attraction, to be honest. Anyway, let's not bring the mood down. You guys go to the beach, yes? Let me give you a ride. So we can slack off once in a while. After you put your wrongings in your rooms, that is. When you then just come back here and we'll get going. Okay, Tora, thank you so much. Oh, don't mention it. He's a nice guy, isn't he? Don't oh, trust people too easily. Huh? Oh, I don't like him. What? Not you too, Lars. Oh, look at those two cuties. They're just being jealous. Don't you think so, Bruno? Uh, me? Yeah, you. Uh... I suppose they are? Yeah, I agree. They're all jealous. Are you 
sure that's not you, Mr. Stone? Nope, not a chance. Not a chance, huh? I'd always expect it. How pathetic. Go on, you can admit it, both of you. No, we are not. But really, Tor is really nice. It's hard to not like him. I agree with you. Ugh. What about me? Uh, me too. Me three? What has gotten into them? Uh, you guys are fun. Oh, this is just absurd. Hmm? Coach Girl, what do you mean? Yeah, <laughs> nothing. Oh, Coach Girl, you're here. We thought you wanted somewhere else. Ah, uh, yeah, need to get some fresh air. Oh, suspicious. What? Well, that's what it is. Are you guys ready? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you can sit in front, Bruno. We'll take the rear seats. Huh? Oh, okay. Hop on. Okay, I don't mind if I do. Uh, Mark, do you have more antihistamines? You don't need more, you'll be fine. Uh, okay. Ah, I don't think I know your names yet. Yeah, I'm Bruno. From left to right, Anders, Mark and Lars. Hmm. Well, nice to meet you. Torihiko signaled you to being close because he needed to say something. I like these two don't really like me, do you know why? Was he talking about Mark and Lars? Is it that obvious? I don't know, but Lars is the most talkative and Mark is... Well, Mark is Mark. Ah, I get you, please continue. Oh, on the back row there's Coach Gilmer's... Liz! Uh, yes, Liz, my music appreciation professor. Professor? I thought she was your classmate. Oh, you make me blush, cutie. Oh, <laughs> you see Mr. Parker face palm and ashamed of his colleagues' actions. <clears throat> uh, how about the other two? Uh, Mr. Parker is... Uh, yes? My uh, dearest... Uh, I, I, I mean, English professor. And Coach Gill here, obviously my coach. His number one coach. Oh yeah, right. Well, thanks for taking us around, Tora. Ah, nice to meet you all. Oh, I'm sorry to say, it's my dad's car air condition doesn't work, so I have to open the windows. Is that okay? Well, fine by me. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Once again, sorry about that. It's good for you if you car sick, too. Better get that fresh air in your lungs. It's fine. We're thankful you want to give us a ride. Oh, I don't mention it. I just want to slack off. <laughs> oh, we shouldn't do that too often. Oh, I get you. He extended his left hand, but quickly realised he shouldn't do that. You could sense some malicious intentions coming from Lars and Mark. Oh boy, this wouldn't go well. Uh, make sure you fasten your seatbelts. We're going to go full speed ahead. Everyone in the back ready? More or less. Let's go! And here we are. It looks empty. Yeah. What do you expect? It's spring. You also told us they barely have visitors nowadays. Well, on the brighter side, you guys have the beach hall to yourselves. I caught the owner for a parasol on the map there for you guys. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Well, I think it was my personal thank you. Oh, if you guys need to get changed, there's several stalls near that green building over there. Oh, great, I'll do so then. I'll, uh... Just remove my shirt. Uh, what about you? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I say my pants are comfortable enough for me. Ah, oh, so this and I will get changed, along with Mark. And as Parker as I get along, he's been sporting his beach clothes since this morning. Ah, you got me. Oh, great, I'll be drinking Ramoon in that green building if you need me. Ramoon? Never heard of it. Nope. I'll get one for you if you want. Uh, Mr. Parker and uh, Anders, isn't it? Ah, uh, just call me Parker. Cool, I can do that. Oh, it's that carbonated drink, yes? Oh, I'll pass, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you, Tora. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, do you two even want to get changed? Mm, I think I'm fine. 
Uh, me too. What? We here to have fun? Go with me, both of you. Since Lars and Marco were sort of unwilling to go, Coach Girl has somewhat dragged those two across the sand. Baffled you that Coach Girl had the strength to do that. Anyway, what says you, Bruno? Uh. If that's fine with you. His eyes lit upon hearing that coming from you. Yes! That's totally fine. Now, what flavour would you like? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, lemon, I guess? Ah, the original one. I'll be back in a bit then. Now take your time. He really is a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very upbeat, if not all too loud. Feels like not at all happy go lucky, though. Hmm, what do you mean? Ah, uh, yeah, I noticed that too. He comes off to me as the lonely type. Especially if he kept saying that we reminded him of his friends. Yeah, especially you. Me? Yeah, it looks like you were someone he misses dearly. Really? I didn't realise that. Must well, because you're dense at times, Bruno. Yeah. Can you not scare me like that all the time? Well, that's what we do best. What are you guys talking about? Well, seems like nothing important. Uh, you guys... What? Where's Lars and Ms. Liz? Wait, they were with me just a while ago. Well, I think they were with Tora. Oh, I wonder why. Why don't you ask them yourself? They're walking towards you. These two big cats would make great bodyguards. They're as big as mountains, oh my. I'm sure that it's you that's too short, Liz. How dare you? Ow, ow, stop! <laughs> Here's your Amun, let's serve cold. Ah, thank you. Oh, yeah, Tora. Mm hmm? Oh, why not join this year? Uh, is that okay, though? Well, I don't really care, to be honest. The others don't seem to be bothered about it either. Uh, no, you guys have your fun. Oh, I will force you then, just come if you need company. Oh, thanks, Bruno. I'll keep that in mind. I can... can I borrow you for a bit? Uh, yeah, sure thing. Well, guys, I'll be back. It won't take too long, we'll start without you. Hey. Well, what do you need? Those are your friends, aren't they? Well, technically not all of them. Of course, you have a few teachers with you on the trip. Yeah, but yes, they are my friends. Why did you ask? Oh, I just wanted you to know that even if you might think you have things in control right now, you actually don't. You might want to make everyone happy, but in my experience, no one can do that. I can't tell you to not to enjoy yourself or try. One day you'll have to make a decision, and if you want to be stern and consistent about it. When I was around your age, I regret I didn't make that decision. I just let life take its course. I knew the first time I saw you. I saw my younger self, my dearest friend in you. I don't want you to experience what I did. Ah, I'm sorry. I ran across the line. You probably didn't want to hear that from someone you barely know. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Thanks for reminding me, Tora. Think what you said. Oh, good. Well, now go out there and have fun. Yeah. Also, thanks to the moon. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see. It looks refreshing enough. It is. That's why I said it's best served when cold. If you want to drink it right away, there's an ice box by the parasol. You can put it in there. Oh, that's what it is. Yep. Oh, but are you sure you don't want to join us? I love to, but it really is not my place to do so. Why are you too late for that? Oh, me. I see. I don't need to be through, but stay strong, okay? <laughs> I'm stronger than I look. Uh, I don't know how strong that would be. You look pretty strong already. Oh yeah? I was a small kid back then. I wanted to show my friend I grew up. It didn't matter in the end though. Oh well. Being bad for me, patting him on the back and he sighed. I'll go now, Tora. Yeah. Thanks for the comfort, Bruno. I hope the best for you. You too. Now, where were we? Right, here comes my summer vacation. Wait, it's only spring. 
It's only even a vacation. Well, I'm here either way. Let's go. Guys, wait for me. Bruno, hurry up. Alice, slow down. Why are you so slow? Come on, it's the beach. I haven't been working out. Me neither, but I'm still not as slow as you. I'll give him a time out, Liz. Oh, okay, I get you. She went for running off towards Mark and Anders to talk with them. Is she always that energetic? Yeah, seems like she's in a good mood right now. I'm glad. Oh, why are you stomping on those holes? Uh, that doesn't sound good. Let's check on them. I agree. When you got there, you saw Mark trying to stop Liz from stepping on those small holes he just took. No, don't do that. Stop. They give me chills. Not good ones, even. Disgusting. Oh, I see why she should do that. It triggers her trachophobia. Oh, you have that thing, Liz. Apparently so. Hmm. Mark had an evil grin and he bared his claws as he squatted down. Mark, don't you dare. Oh, you can try and stop me. Stop it! Well, those two mix really well, huh? You think so? Yeah. Yeah, they're both having fun to me. Ah, Anders, you think so too. It's the opposite, at least that's how I see it. You know he had a piercing on the nipple of all places. That's surprising. But that doesn't really matter. What's he doing? Digging up clams, he said. Clams? Yeah. I think you could find clams here. I don't think you can. He just thought he could dig up clams randomly. Why didn't you tell him? Oh, it's fun seeing him make a fool of himself. Well, I heard something new about you. Huh. You do actually haven't put on sunscreen, have you? Oh, ah. Uh. Yeah, we haven't. Yeah, you need it. And just toss Mark's sunscreen to you. Wait, shall we ask Mark first? Well, don't worry about it. He wanted to give you some anyway. Ah, okay then. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta read this book. Thanks again, Anders. Well, thank you, Mr. Dixon. I quote my Anders, Mr. Stone. Ah, right. Oh, silly me. I tried to be casual, but I ended up sounding stiff. Oh, it's okay. But you're welcome. Dixon, that sounds familiar. Well, bro, you just help with the sunscreen. Actually, yeah, I could use some help with my back. Mind spraying it on for me? Oh, sure thing. Well, I'll need your help later, so I'm going to remove my shirt. Uh, okay, I guess I'll do the same too. Uh, so, any idea what to do now? Oh, um... Maybe we should look for Lars and Gil? Yeah, fine by me, let's go. Where should we start? I wish I knew. <laughs> Hey, you two look uh, lost. What's going on? Oh, hey, Tora. That's my name. We're well, looking for Lars and Gil. Have you seen them? Oh, they're at the lounge in the beach house. Do you need me to fetch them? Oh, no, that's fine. Wait, Lars and Gil? What are they doing? I don't know. They look like they're having fun, to me at least. Oh, maybe we should go there, Bruno. No, you shouldn't. Liz? I'm curious, what's with you stopping Gil from having fun? Well, I just don't want him to get into trouble. Why would you think he might be in trouble? I... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, exactly what I thought. Have some faith in him, Parker. He'll be fine. We're on a trip. Let's have some fun. Oh, I guess you're right. Do they have a history of some sort? Oh, well, I, uh... Actually, yeah, Parker, yes? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. I have a question about the place you're teaching at. 
Oh? Oh, you two go ahead. I'll talk with Liz. We'll be back before you know it. Liz? Yes? I have a question. Well, as a friend or a student. What do you mean by stopping Gil from having fun? Is that what Mr. Parker has been doing? Oh, well, I'm telling you, as a friend, not a professor. He's been stopping Gil from doing things he's so passionate about. What do you mean, something he's so passionate about? Well, the things he has been doing? Uh, you mean groping and molesting his students? No, that's not it. Just whatever he's been doing. I don't know what Gil's like behind the curtain, so I can't say for sure. Hmm. That didn't help much. Well, I saw him carrying a box for Gil three days ago. A box? Do you know what was in it? I don't. I asked him, but he got all defensive about it. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, he's very mad when I peeked inside. What was inside? Some pamphlets? Are you sure that's it? Oh, a couple of yarns, if I remember, if I recall correctly. Could be made of Angora hair, too. That's animal cruelty. Aren't you concerned about that? They are? I don't know. It's what they said. Maybe they were doing some shady business? <gasps> My roommate, he's a shady person. And you could say with a straight face concerns me, Liz. You know, he said he doesn't know why Gil might be in trouble. Yeah, he just said that. But actually, I hope you heard him talk in his room. He doesn't want anyone to do the same mistake as he did. What does that mean? I don't know, but I'm trying to find out. I got nothing, though. Hmm. Well, I can raise my theory about him being a shady person. Uh, let's not jump into conclusions. Or do you think that he might be trapped in his own guilt? I don't know, this seems to be a difficult topic to grasp for me. And more likely to be the case. If so, we need to help him. How do we help him? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Alright, thanks, Parker. Shush, they're coming. Yeah, that's no problem. Just let me know if you have more questions. I'll do that. Hey. Hey, Mr. Parker. What are you two talking about? I glanced over and you seem to be having fun. Oh, uh, just chatting uh, as friends. Yes. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem convincing, though. But knowing you is probably nothing, Liz. Yes, of course. <laughs> what did you talk about with Torrent, Mr. Parker? Oh, I just want to know about Highwell University, that's all. Mm, I wonder why. I don't know. He didn't tell me. Maybe as a family member attending HU? Well, that's possible. So, what now? Well, I don't know. This trip is boring. It is. Well, I'm having fun so far. It's a bit boring to me, but it's not too bad. I'm going to get something to drink. You do have fun. Oh, okay. Adora, wait for me. Hmm. Do you remember anything about your childhood, Mr. Parker? Oh, I do. I wish I didn't, though. Why is that? Better memories. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. It wasn't all bad, though. Oh, tell me more, if you're okay with it. I remember meeting one sweet kid when I was on a trip here. Here? Uh, I meant Highwell. Oh, you're not from there? No, not at all. I was a foreigner. Oh, that's cool. So we became good friends, even though we were eight years apart. I'm the older one. I always remember that one time I told him I made some rice balls. I actually bought it from the store next door. <laughs> Hold on, that sounds familiar. Where did I hear that story? Do you remember his name? Uh, no, not really. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how he's doing. Anyway, enough about my childhood. How about yours? Oh, uh, sorry, I don't remember anything. Oh, no wonder. Huh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, no, not at all. I'm sorry I asked. Did you ask your parents why? They didn't want to tell me. 
Well, that's sort of cruel. Maybe it's the vest, I guess. I try to remember my head hurts. That's not good. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. Oh yeah, I've also been having some weird dreams. What kind of weird dreams? Of some kids in a particular village. These didn't make any sense sometimes. I don't know any of them, or at least I think so. Whenever I try to look at them, it's just all blurry. Something prevented me from seeing their faces. They're even real people. Something changed today, though. Oh? For a long time I dreamed about Herbert. Herbert? And my twin. Oh. What was it about? Well, I'm not sure. We're about to head out somewhere with my friends in the dream. Then I woke up before I got to see them. I'm thinking of asking him later. Well, I don't have his number now that I think of it. No, actually, you should think harder. Maybe you could try asking your parents? Yeah, I should do that, actually. Oh, I remember now. Oh, what do you mean? Your pendant, I've seen it before. Oh, really? Well... Well? Never mind. Oh, you can't just do that. Well, I'm sorry, okay? Ugh, I thought I'd get the answer I've been waiting for all these years. Oh, uh, please explain. This pendant is important to me. Wait, before I tell you why, have I showed you this pendant? Oh, yesterday, once, briefly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Where should I start, I wonder? What about how you got it? Well, that's the problem, I don't know. I don't remember someone giving it to me, but I can't remember who exactly. No, oh, that's tricky. I've been looking for answers and I got them back then, so I put it where I could find it. It worked, I'd forgotten about it, and this pendant was collecting dust. Until my parents suddenly found it in the storage room before I moved out and insisted on me keeping it. And safekeeping, they said. Well, safekeeping is a lucky charm. I guess that's also the reason I moved to Highwell. What do you mean? You see, my parents were really against me moving out for some reason. I don't want to treat it like, uh, uh, what do they call me again? Ah, porcelain figurine. Oh, they treat you if you literally break. Yeah, they've been treating me like that as long as I could remember. Don't know why, but it made me feel like I was trapped inside that house. It wasn't all bad, I just wish I had some freedom. But I kept convincing them that I could live by myself and everything. It's not to prove my self-worth, to be honest. I just wanted to change. I had that I wanted to be free from that place. So I don't mind to convince them, but they told me to move out to Highwell or not at all. And I must lose this pendant no matter what it takes. Sounds like it's more important than I thought, huh? It sure is. I almost lost it on the first day to school. I freaked out after I found out that I lost it. And it's already too late. <laughs> too late? When I realised it, it was already in Lars' hand. Of course I played it cool, but I was actually really freaked out. This day I'm still grateful he found it. I'd have been in big trouble if he didn't, or if he refused to give it back to me. Anyway, I ranted so much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Rant away. How about you? Do you have something important to you? Mm-hmm, I do. Oh, what is it? Well, it's more like who is it, actually. Well, he's... Oh, there you are. Oh, Tora, what do you need? Your friend Mark said he was looking for you. Oh? Well, he asked me to tell you to wait here, that's all. All right, dear. Thanks, Tora. I don't mention it. So, what were you going to say, Mr. Parker? Uh, uh never mind. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, you haven't left yet. Good. Mark, Tor asked me to stay here. What's up? Oh, Mr. Stone, would you mind? I need to talk with Bruno in private. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'll excuse myself. Oh, please do. I'll see you later, Bruno. Mm-hmm. Hey, what was that? You dumbass. Huh? Why didn't you ask him that? You had a chance of getting the truth out of him. Hold on, how did you know? I was standing behind you the whole time. You did? Yep. Well, that's embarrassing. 
Yeah, you ruined it. I'm sorry that I ruined it, but don't you feel bad about it just a little bit? It was supposed to be a secret. It wasn't my fault to begin with. I was there since the beginning. Ugh. Wait, there's no way you're behind us. We're not exactly behind, but I was leaning on the guardrails. Oh, that would explain it. That aside, what do you need me for? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to talk to you about it. Are you for real? Well, I am for real. I said all I need to say. I'm going to do something fun. See you around, Bruno. Uh, sure. Thanks for making this awkward, Mark. It was what you wanted to say, but you didn't have the guts to do it in his face. I suppose I'm going to look for Mr. Parker now. Where did he run off to? I don't see him around here. Uh, Bruno, you're alone here. Where are the others? Oh, Toro. I want to know that, actually. <laughs> trying to look for Coach Gill and Lars, then Mr. Parker took off somewhere else without me. Mark just left a while ago. Oh, I see, oh, that's some bad timing. <laughs> well, that aside, are you okay? Hmm? What do you mean I'm doing fine? Oh, I'm sorry, I just thought you looked... How do I put it? Uh, confused? Oh, yeah, I guess I'm just a little bit confused. Did something happen? I'm all ears if you want to talk about it. Yeah, just something personal. I'll be fine, Tora. Thank you, though. Okay, if you need to talk, I'm your guy, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, since we're here, how do you like the Ramoon? Ramoon? Oh, I haven't tried it. I just put it in the icebox. Oh, okay, I thought you drank it. No, <laughs> I'll do it now. I'm a little bit thirsty. Oh, okay. Do you mind if I sit here? Not at all. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. A rush of refreshed and chilly air blew on your arms when you opened the icebox. Got a lot of carbonated drinks in it. Did Mark buy all these drinks? Ah, there's my drink. The bottle's a little bit different to what you're used to. Once you remove the seal, instead of looking at the usual bottle cap, you're greeted by a green cap. What am I supposed to do with this? On thorough inspection, you notice the centre of the green cap could be pushed down. So you did, and the centrepiece fell out. Now what? I think you made sense. Maybe you should try asking Torohiko. Maybe you should ask him instead of plain detective. I don't want to mess anything up. A Tora? Ah, yes? I don't open this Ramoon. Alright, I should have told you. Am I bad? It's okay, I think I'm stuck. You showed in the green cap whenever you removed from it. Oh, you're halfway there. Just place the opener onto the top of the bottle. Huh? That's the opener. Oh, pretty much. Just put it on top. Come on. Why are you getting excited? Oh, just do it. You'll see. Fine. Here. What's next? You push it with your palm. Pop. That was the sound it made, followed by it with some crackling and fizzing. Oh, I see what you mean. I know, right? One of the exciting parts of drinking Ramoon. Anyways, keep it there for a few seconds and remove that opening so you can drink it. it. Smells like lemonade. Well, it is lemonade, although carbonated. Interesting. Oh, are you busy? Let's go look for Mr. Parker. I'm going to take some time drinking this Ramoon. I see. I'll stay here longer if it's okay. Oh, well, it's okay. I don't mind. Ah, oh, good to hear. Oh, yeah, I heard from Mr. Parker. You asked him about Highwell University. Why is that? Oh, I'm just curious, that's all. It sounds like a fun place in your city. I thought I'd ask someone about it. I've been here for my entire life, so it's natural I'm curious about other cities. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. Do you have any plan to move out? Oh, if I could, I would. What's stopping you? Oh, maybe my family, family business? Oh, you mentioned that with your parents. Are you going to be the next owner? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's what's going to happen. That's something. Good. Oh, some people, yeah. But I want to explore sometime. It's not really my thing to be chained in one place. Well, not literally, of course. Then, are you saying you'd like to be chained literally? And oh, no, that's not it. I just meant I don't want to be stuck here forever. Oh, okay. I like it here. I mean, the place around you're in. Well, I don't know if this is the waterfront, but I like it here too. 
Oh, I speech is not part of Waterfront Village. I see, I see. Also, I do get why people like it here. But I don't think you can say it's the same for someone who's lived here for more than a decade. I can relate to you in a way. You do? Yeah, let's just say I moved out of my parents' place. I'd gotten... gotten sick of the place? Yes. Have you discovered everything in Waterfront Village? Uh, I think so. Do you like sports, Tora? Oh, not really. Oh, why? Oh, thank goodness he said no. I wonder how to respond if he said yes. Oh, just curious. You look, you look like you like physical activities. Uh, I suppose I do. You too, actually. Do you hit the gym often? I did several months ago. Things got a little bit hectic. And that's when I stopped going. I still do hit the gym sometime. Oh, that's good. Got to stay in shape, after all. Although we beastmen have it lucky, huh? Our genetics make us naturally big. Well, most of us, that is. <laughs> that sounds accurate to me. <laughs> I had... Well, I have a wolf friend. He's so small. It's cute. Oh, I thought all wolves were big. Well, apparently not. Although we're the same in kindergarten. Well, maybe I was smaller. <laughs> really? Yeah, even my human friend was bigger than me. No way. Well, I'm telling the truth. Like I told you before, I was a small kid back then. <laughs> I grew him really fast, though. Shun was so energetic. I remember seeing him jump around and all. Things would get so cheerful when he was around. Shun. Ah, that's his name. He sounds like a fun person to hang out with. Yes, he liked to play games, too. Games, like pastimes. I want like console games. I go to his place and play some games with him. He was good. Oh, I don't really play games, but it's nice once in a while. Yeah, me too. Are you still good friends with him? Oh, we don't talk much nowadays, sadly. I always remember his naive nature, no matter what. His expression softened. It seemed like Tora missed his friends a lot. Ah, I forgot. I'll talk to you later, Bruno. What happened? I've got to call my old man. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Ah, I forgot about finding Mr. Parker and the others. Also, if you want to look for Parker and your friends, it's best you wait here. You're right, I don't want us to miss each other. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the Ramon, Bruno. Mm hmm. I guess I'll sit here and wait. He took shelter under the parasols you stared at the horizon, accompanied by the splashing sounds of the waves hitting the shores. It refreshed your mind. You didn't know you needed that until now. Can I miss home? I wonder how they're doing back there. Maybe we should ask once I'm back in Highwell. We still haven't moved since this morning. Hmm, Coach Gill? What are you doing here all day? He's talking with Mr Parker and the others. You haven't done any of the beach activities? No, nope, just sitting, talking and drinking Ramoon. I'm playing some stupid games and Mark's saying weird stuff. Oh, sounds boring. That's me. I'm having fun, though, somewhat. Oh, you're hesitating. Maybe you shouldn't bother him when he doesn't want to be bothered. Oh, Lars, too? Where have you two been? Mr. Parker was looking for you. Where are the beach house? Thought you'd be there sooner or later, but no. You're here all day. If it wasn't for Lars, I wouldn't be here looking for you. Lars? Well, no one here could get this fussy. Well, that's news to me. Anyway, since we're here, stop being such a bum. I couldn't get up and let's have some fun. Maybe we'll do that when it's not lunchtime. Already? Oh, I'll get our lunch. Uh, thanks, Anders. Don't mention it. Hey, Bruno. Yes? Uh, what did your Mark talk about? What's none of your business, Mr. Stone? Okay, sorry. Mark. Well, it really is not his business. Yeah, but you don't have to say it like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Parker, it's nothing important, really. Just random banter. Alrighty. Anders walked closer with several stacks of packed lunch. You rushed to help him carry them. Gee, you should have asked for our help, Anders. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> 
Or you could have just put those inside a bag or something. Hmm. You know, says one container looked different from the others. Well, for this one is sort of gigantic. Well, that's mine. <laughs> He's eating my serving a full course meal. I don't even know this at this point. Are you sure you want to lose weight, Parker? Ugh, just today. He said the same thing yesterday. And the day before yesterday. Or basically every day. You're not stopping, you'll get fatter. Ha! <gasps> Gil, that's rude! No, you're not fat, you're perfect. Uh, thank you, Bruno. I appreciate that. I'm not saying you're not fat, though. But who says you can't be fat and beautiful? I was going to complain about that. You knew more than I thought. What do you mean? Well, by saying you're not fat, you're beautiful. You're implying that someone can't be fat and beautiful. If you connected the dots, it's actually body shame. I honestly don't care, but people nowadays are so damn sensitive. I don't want you to trigger some random sensitive people out there. In any case, I guess that's a little bit insensitive. Oh, I'm sorry, Parker, I shouldn't have said that. Uh, that's fine, really. All is well. I think Mr. Parker's enormous container is another one that looked greener than the rest. How about that one? Uh, that's mine. I asked Mr. Stone to not include meat on mine and added more greens. That makes sense. Vegan! Whoa! Oh, I'm not, though. Oh, true. Vegetarian. Boo. I still eat meat. I'm just not too fond of it. Now, now, my boys, please don't judge people who they are, okay? Yeah, let's just eat our lunch. This whole thing is just rude. You tell the last lad enough of the shenanigans. Oh, it's just hungry. Oh, you're just hungry, big kitty. You're not you when you're hungry. Yikes, that looks like it hurt. I should taught him not to mess with a hungry big kitty. Why me? Less talking, more eating. I haven't even got my food yet. Ah, lunch was so good. A cosy of your chefs, of course. I'm so full I feel like I'm going to burst. Let's play some games. Oh, what kind of games? Well, I saw a deck of those cards in Taurus car, so I thought it might be fun. Where did you find that? In Taurus car? No, more specifically. In your backpack. Liz, you know that's not something you should do. My defence, Mark asked me to get some meds in his backpack. Didn't you? Uh, yeah, that's true. See, not my fault. <laughs> Liz, stop showing that card. <laughs> oh, that was funny. How could you? Mine was funnier. Oh no! <laughs> Have you seen her cards? You gotta admit it was funny, Mark. Yours was just fine. Mark was arranging his cards. He thought it was really funny. Well, it was, but not as funny as Liz's. I don't want to play anymore. He tossed all the cards before he walked off by himself. And it was suddenly raining cards. Hey! Uh oh, someone's upset. I'll give him time. He'll come to his senses soon. I thought I was the one with anger issues. You're fine. I'll clean this up meanwhile. Well, you guys have fun. We should just clean up the mess together. I think we're heading back to Waterfront soon. Oh, already? Yeah, so let's clean this up and we'll head to the beach house. Alright, I think we're done here. In that case, I'll have a mark. I'll go with you, Anders. Huh? Oh, sure. The rest, you wait for us there. Oh, okay. Everyone's here. I uh, know, Liz, Anders and Mark aren't here yet. Well, that's fine. We're not rushing, right? I don't think we are. Well, I'm not. Me neither. What they said. I'm going to get changed. Alright, we have to get changed. I nearly forgot about it. I guess I'll wear my shirt now. Uh, me too. Why? Oh, I know. You don't have to get on my case all the time. 
You need to calm down, Mark. I'm calm. No, no, Mark, let's not get upset. You hear them talking so loud, they must be here anytime soon. So I was expecting that kind of conversation from them. <laughs> yeah. We found our lost kitty. I'm not lost. Uh, oh, I'm just going to grab my shirt now. I'll go get changed then. Okay, is everyone here and ready now? Well, seems like it. Be ready since 20 minutes ago. Oh, hold on, has anyone seen my pocket watch? Oh yeah, I saw it earlier. Is this it? Yes, where did you find it? Oh, with the changing area. I guess you dropped it. Oh, looks like it. Oh, thanks, Liz. No problem. Yeah, all good and ready to go. Great, let's go to the parking area then. Well, Bruno, wake up. Hmm? Bruno, come on, we're here. Here? Are we home yet? Ugh, did I drool? No, silly, we're at Tora's in. Come on, get up. Okay. Oh, I didn't, thank goodness. <sighs> uh, um, which one is my room? Uh, the one on the right. Uh, okay. Feeling sluggish, you practically dragged your two feet to get inside. You managed to get in without any incident, regardless. Phew, tired. I'm just going to put this on the floor and be done with it. Uh, Bruno. Ah, Mr. Parker, what is it? Uh, can I come in? Yeah, come on in. Do, do you need something? Uh, can I sleep here? It's too crowded in that room. Ah, yeah, sure thing. Oh, thanks. Once he got your seal of approval, he put his items onto the floor with a third. That third was the thing he needed to wake you up. Phew, that felt so good. Well, I'll head to the centre room now. If you need me, I'm there. Gotcha. There's nothing I can do. I'll just lay the futons down and head out. It's sort of stuffy in here. Ah, finally having a good look at this room. It looks pretty nice. See, so now you got you in the first place. The room Tora gave you was more than generous. There are two other smaller rooms divided by a living room of sorts. Judging by how it looked, the left room was a lot bigger compared to the other one. This wouldn't go well. The way it's set up is almost like your place. Two of you would stay in the room on the right and the others would be together in the left one. You won't have to take the beach. It would be awkward if you were paired with him. Except you're already paired with him. There's nothing I can do now. I just have to deal with it and act as natural as possible. Hey, I don't you feel guys like taking a bath. I hear there's a hot spring here. Uh, no. I rinsed off on the beach. Oh, that's fine. I mean, I did too, but I wanted to try it out. I'm in. Hot springs? Sign me up. I thought you'd never ask. I wouldn't mind hot springs. Those are good for our bodies. And uh, Liz, why are you here? This isn't your room. I get lonely all by myself, so I have to come here. I, uh... I'm curious. I've never been in a hot spring before. Well, it's settled. Well, I'll stay here with Anders, then. Uh, you don't have to worry about me. I'll look around and see if there's anything I can do. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, then. Looks like I'll be joining you guys in the hot spring. Huh, wish you'd have stayed here instead. Or it's me to join you guys. I know you're planning something weird. Well, what? I would never. Please don't do anything weird in the hot spring. It's sacred. It is? No, it's not. <laughs> you are too naive, Bruno. Hey, it's my first time. Oh, no, what else is your first time? <laughs> it's not your business. He walked in closer towards you he moved his hands around so he was going to group you. But he was quickly stopped by Lars and Mark. Oh, grow up. What he said. Huh, since when are you two this close? Never. Well, all three of you, stop messing around and let's head to the hot spring for its dinner time. Yeah, I agree with Mr. Parker. Well, if you guys going to mess around some more, I'll just head to the hot springs all by myself. It's not like I can join you guys anyway. Hehe. <laughs> You're making a weird face right now. You know what I'm thinking about. 
I guess. Hold on a minute. Huh? I wasn't expecting everyone to be naked. Oh, what do you mean? Says on some etiquette. Still! Oh, come on, he's just being a baby right now. Yeah, what he said. Of all times, why are you guys going on me right now? And you, you two are supposed to bail me out. Oh, well, I want to enjoy the hot spring with all of you. Oh, me too. Now dress yourself. <laughs> no. Why are you so chill about being butt naked in front of everyone? Why not? That's not a bad thing. I'm not chill. Oh, it's okay. We're not letting you out anyway. But why? Well, I just want to see you naked. It's only the only time I'm agreeing with him. You two are perfs. Mr. Parker. You made this sad puffy face while looking at Mr. Parker, hoping that he'd help you. He looked away, though. Uh, I should start cleaning myself or going for a dip. What the? Lars? I, uh, maybe should join Parker. Such betrayal. Mark and Coach Gill were practically dragging you in while the other two just walked off. They were probably feeling guilty if they couldn't do anything. Mr. Parker, Lars, I'll bring you two to hell with me! See, that wasn't so bad. My pure body, my temple. Hey, if your body is a temple, shouldn't people be visiting it? Oh, well said. Just let me be. I don't understand why Anders didn't want to join us. I wish I was Anders right now. Uh, Rono. I don't talk to me, I'm mad. <laughs> oh, I guess you're mad at me too. <laughs> you weren't even mad at them, you just upset they didn't even try to help you out back there. But he was right, it's not that bad. Especially they're naked right now. Yum. Ah, is this a dream? You tried your best not to stare at them, especially since they were very, very uh, gifted. Mark wasn't bothered at all, though. He started swimming around the hot spring. Mark, I think it says no swimming in the hot spring. Well, that's fine. Come, join me. Hey, it says no swimming, so no swimming. I've never seen you listen to him ever. Hmm. Hey, Bruno. What now? Come here. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to drop my towel from my head. Come faster. Why is it being so complicated right now? I'm here, Your Majesty. What do you need me for? Oh. No, anyway. Why do you think he has the biggest stick? What? Uh, something wrong, Bruno. Uh, no, 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 all good. Sorry about that. You don't have to worry about those two. They're young. Let us old men enjoy this well-deserved rest. We're not even that old. Hey, lass, say something. Oh, should I say something? I admit we're not that young anymore. Ugh, I don't accept this. Hey, why are you moving around like that? Your dick is swinging. Yeah, I got some water from your dick on my face. Watch your language, our students are here. I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, let's hold him down. Uh, you two never let me rest up. Maybe I don't see that at all. Let's leave them be. Back to Mark. What are you on about? Mark, oh, I know you've been checking him out. Don't pretend you haven't. This kind of situation won't come twice. This is your chance to enjoy him to the fullest, am I right? Uh, hit me where it hurts the most. So, which one? Do I have to? Oh, yes. Uh, those big boys, unaware of the situation, were enjoying their hot spring while Mark and you were comparing their dick sizes. Talk about inappropriate. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Mark made me do this. I think Mr. Parker wins. I don't know about that. I mean, look at that. He's packing it. Why don't you find out once it's hard? What? No! Oh, you're no fun. Mr. Parker, seemingly unaware of how wretched this conversation was, just smiled and waved when your eyes met. Ah, he's so cute. Oh, he's coming here. I guess I'm out from the game now. Good luck. Hey, what do you mean? 
Oh, Bruno. Hey, hey, Mr. Parker. Are you okay? You look somewhat flushed. It must be the water. <laughs> it wasn't it. You just couldn't hide the fact you looked so alluring right now. Yeah, everything all right? Mm, oh, yeah, all good. Oh, I see. That's good. What do you talk about with Mark, if it's not too personal? He looked over at Mark. It's apparently if he's listening to your exchange with Mr. Parker. He shrugs if he's telling you to do what you want to do. We... Uh, how am I going to say it? Well, it was about me. I won't be mad, I promise. Well, here goes nothing. We were just comparing your... Mine? Who has the biggest... Uh, I can't say it. Hmm? We were just talking about your... He looked him in the eyes and then down at his groin. Oh. Well, my point is... It's just something inappropriate. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Must be nice to be young again. Oh, you're not mad? No, not at all. I used to do it with Gil all the time. It's all in good fun. Did you pick me? Yeah, we really have to talk about this right now. Well, I'm curious what people think about me, that's all. <laughs> I did say you have the biggest one. Although Mark wasn't so sure about it. Said it needs to be hard to compare properly. Oh, well, I mean... I guess there's no way to find out now. <laughs> I'm uh, <coughs> going back. Mr. Parker turned away from you walked back to where he was. Hey, you guys. Huh? What is it? I am done for now. I need to help Toro with some cooking. Oh, you're going to help him? Yeah. Okay, then. See you later, Lars. We'll be here for a while. All right. I guess it's just us here now. Well, let's just relax. We'll have tasty food waiting for us after we're done. Uh, hot springs are the best. Oh, I feel, I feel so soft, though. You'd say it was fun, but your first hot spring a spe bad experience that way the good. I wonder how Hans is doing. Oh, he's probably outside drawing something. Oh, he draws. Oh, he does. Cool, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, there you are. A Torah? A oh, good timing. Dinner's almost ready. Lars asked me to fetch you guys. Ah, all righty. All right, I should tell Anders. Oh, don't worry about that. I told him before looking for you all. Oh, okay. Let me guide you to the dining room, then. Everything totally felt different here. The room, bath, hot springs, even the dining room were all alien-looking. There were several sets of tables and cushions. Only one was occupied. Anders was there sipping tea tables are so short. Where are the chairs? What's happening? Those are what we call chavudai, beneath the Mazaviton cushions. Oh, did you know the legs of a chavudai can be folded? I've never seen it ever. How could I know about that? Ah, <laughs> oh, fair point. Oh, you guys are here. Oh, wow, I've forgotten that she's with us in this trip. How rude. Did you guys enjoy the bath? Hey, yeah, it was nice. You're not too sure about that, it sounds like. Anders said as he drank from the cup he's been holding. Well, well, everything was fine. We had some problem. We took care of it. Oh, technical difficulties. Was there any problem with the hot spring? Not at all. It was perfect. Oh, that's good. And what was it about? We just... Uh, I didn't know the answer and etiquettes. They taught me. Oh, OK. If that's so, I'll head back to the kitchen. Please wait a moment, OK? Maybe it's been too loud. Well, my dear Tora, take all the time you need. You wanted to talk with Mr. Parker. He's busy answering questions from Liz. You thought maybe you should approach Anders once in a while. So, Anders. Well, what is it? What is that? Oh, this? They offered me free oolong tea. Oo tea? Oolong tea. Hey, yeah, that. What is it? It's easy if you taste it by yourself. They left some for you guys, so help yourselves. Notice it didn't look like your usual tea. There were some dark, hueish leaves that looked pretty rough and dry despite being inside the teapot. I guess they roasted those leaves? They look weird and wrinkly. It's 
She pours him into a small cup. The aroma reminded you of cinnamon. Or maybe even caramel. Hmm, never thought it'd smell like that. You took a sip. Weird. You couldn't make out the taste. You took another sip. Huh, weird. How do you like it? I don't know. It's weird. I agree with Bruno. It tasted weird. Oh, well, I like it. You like anything you can shove in your mouth, so I'm not surprised. What? Oh, it's fine. It's too dark and concentrated. I prefer light oolongs. Huh, okay. Uh, sorry for the wait. Dinner's ready. Oh, Last tour and several in staff people brought the food. Looked like a feast for the kings rather than the dinner for some random customers. That's a lot of food. Yes, yeah, it's okay. Well, you're only customers right now. We felt a little bit generous today, so don't worry about it. We also got help from a pro. He patted Lars on the back. It was true, Lars was a great cook. Well, I'm not sure we can finish this, though. Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, you shouldn't waste food, you know. Oh, I'm sure everyone will be able to finish it, trust me. Oh, I think so, too. We put too much faith in this group. That's a bad idea. Oh, what's this nice smelling water? Oh, that's sake. Oh, it's that alcohol alcoholic drink, isn't it? Oh, sake, let's get wasted. You did not just say that. Oh, you're trying to set a good example in front of your students. I don't know what you're talking about. Trust me, you won't be able to do that. God knows how much you like your alcohol. Oh, this is right. I'll never be against drinking, but I can make an exception. For all adults, I drink away. Disclaimer, not a good example. Don't listen to him. I don't drink, thank you for the offer. I me mean, neither. Well, I don't mind those. I'm glad you guys are in good spirits, but these won't eat themselves, so please, enjoy the meal. Right, before we dig in... Huh? I'd like to thank Mark for bringing us here. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Still, thanks to you, we had a great time together. Not as teachers and students, but as friends. Here, have some sake. Let's get wild tonight. I don't drink. But I guess it's fine once in a while, if you insist. I'll just drink water, thanks. Hey, Dora, come sit down and join us. Huh? He stood there, not sure what to do. Everyone was looking at him, waiting for his answer. When your eyes met, you nodded in approval. Tenor is okay for him to join you. Well, I guess it won't hurt. <laughs> All right then, here's for Mark. Everyone raised their cups as they chanted his name. For Mark. For me, I'm the best. Well, let's dig in, everyone. Well, I'm starving. Hey, that's my spinach. Well, yeah, there's still a lot of them. You guys are wild. How did that collaboration happen, Tora? Oh, you mean Lars in our kitchen? Well, Lars talked to me when I was getting removed for Bruno and myself. He asked about Wardfront, our in, the lack of staff and everything. I don't really, really do lack staff people, especially people in charge of the kitchen. That's when Lars offered to help tonight. I must say I don't regret that decision. He was great in the kitchen. It's almost like he was born for it. The way he handles knives, how he steams the buns, preparing the meat, everything was perfection. Hey, you don't have to say it like that. He's blushing. How cute. I knew he was a great cook, but I never knew he could be that great. Well, I mean, he had half his cook before. Everything was made easier with him around. And you guys. That's really cool. Oh, thanks. It'd be nice to have you cook for me every day. Oh, oh uh, do you want me to? Yeah, that'd be so cool. Well, I'll see what I can do then. <laughs> Let's celebrate with more drinks. Calm down with the drinks. <laughs> so I thought, I'm losing my pocket watch, I'm so screwed. Right, I've got to ask him about it. <laughs> I shouldn't have said what I said. What's he talking about? Oh, uh, cooking for, oh, I'm so happy. Everyone finished their food and drinks. What was left were a bunch of people who couldn't have more liquor. Maybe ask him if the drink was a bad idea. <laughs> so, what are we going to do with them? Give me more sake. I'm a sad boy. I have to drink this sadness away. 
That's enough drinking for tonight. Well, I guess we can just bring him back to your room. There's no way I can do that. I have more than enough manpower. You can rest up, Liz. All right, I'll go back to my room. Let me know if something's up. Will do. Well, I'll bring Lars. Well, I guess I'll take care of Mark. All right, that works. Wait, don't take Big Kitty away. You're drunk, Mark. Ah, he's just a Parker. Oof, it's going to be hard. You tell me what else is hard. <laughs> Apparently Mr. Parker has been intoxicated and horny. Well, let's not pay attention to that. Rono is so charming. Uh, thank you. Mm. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah, finally did it. Well, it seems he still haven't really stopped going to the gym, huh? <laughs> I went to the gym last week. Oh, good to know. There's a gym in the city if you want to. We can go together sometime. I'll keep that in mind, Coach Gill. Well, I shouldn't bother you any more, sir. Rest up, Bruno. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good thing I laid out the futon. It made our job easier. I should go lie down. I'm tired. <coughs> On second thought, I'll go outside for a bit. A Bruno? Oh, you're still here, Coach Gill. Yeah, I just need some time out from these drunk people in that room. <laughs> Why don't you come sit down with me? Sure. A tea? Ah, no, I don't want to stay up late tonight. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Did you brew this tea? Oh, yeah, they prepared those tea bags for us. Ah, Okay. I thought they'd get wasted that easily, huh? <laughs> yeah, Lars especially. I know, right? Uh, Coach Gill's expression changed. He took another sip of the tea he brewed. Is everything okay, Coach? Oh yeah, all good. What's him stopping you from having fun? What do you mean? Something Liz and I noticed earlier. Well, more like Liz mentioned it to me. Mr. Parker, you with Lars at the beach house. You're so fixated on going there to see what you're up to. Oh, you're talking about that thing. What thing? I asked Parker to control my hmm, not so desirable tendencies in exchange for keeping tabs on his food intake. So, it's not these doing exceeds didn't want you to have fun. Yeah, that's not it. Okay, that's good. What do you mean? If you did that, you can send, I wouldn't know how to react to it. I see. He means well, don't worry. It's mostly because I... You... Uh, last night, we used to be a thing. I see... <coughs> you what? Surprise, surprise. That's really a surprise. Holy... So did you guys break up or something? Uh, that's the end of the story, yeah. We broke up. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, please, it's all good. It was the best decision we'd made. Parker is here to stop me from making the same bad decision. That's what's going on. Okay. Right, what about the box? Uh, what box? The ones with pamphlets in it. Well, Parker didn't tell you that, did he? Uh, no, he didn't. So, how do you know about it? I, uh... <laughs> Never mind that. Where else do you know? Nothing other than it had pamphlets. And what was it again? Yarns? Yeah, that's about it. It's nothing. That's Parker to deliver it to me. Those pamphlets were the basketball team and coaching. Ah, OK. I thought you were doing some shady business. <laughs> no, no way. I'm the most legal, civilised civilian. Yes, yeah, so then you practically tried to get into my pants back then. Technically legal, because I didn't do anything crossing the line. And you're already of age, so... Fine, I'll give you that. I teach psychology of sexuality. I know what I'm doing. Sure. Wait, you teach too? Oh well, yeah, you didn't know? No, I wasn't aware of that. Well, now you know. Well, I'm learning something nice about you for once. Hey, what do you mean, for once? <laughs> well, that's what I want you to know. So there's, there's that. Thanks, Coach Gill. You're welcome. Well, this is nice. We should do it often. Yeah, you're a decent guy when you're not being a pervert. 
Can you please not? Here. Well, if you really think that it's nice, I guess I can try and do that more often. You don't have to. <laughs> I like the use the way you are. You you mean it? Yeah, it's all in good fun, isn't it? Hmm. A Bruno. Hmm? Come close to this. Something I want to show you. Uh, okay. You're leaning close to his face slowly. You tried to see something he wanted to show you, but not flashing in front of you. One can be too careful around him. What he did next was not expected at all. A smooch on the cheek. It felt sincere and nice. What was that about? <laughs> Nothing. I'm going back to my room now, so I'll see you tomorrow, Bruno. Hey, you can't just do that and leave. I can. It's payback for being sassy toward me. I... You left. It just dawned that your heart was beating fast and your face felt warm. What was that about? Let's just head out and really get some fresh air. <sighs> it's so cold out here. A Bruno? I feel that Tora's been sitting on the bench outside the inn for quite a while. A Tora, what are you doing out here? Oh, I'm just clearing up my mind. Ah, same here. <laughs> Can I sit here? Oh, sure, I feel free. He moved until he could sit down next to him with a lot of free space. Felt slightly warm sitting next to him. Guess he just generates a lot of body heat. Oh, wait, let me get something warm for you to drink. Ah, you don't have to. I want to. It's really cold out here. Oh, sorry for the wait. This. I hear you didn't quite like the dark oolong blend, so I figured you might give it another go with the lighter blend. Maybe you'll like it. Oh, okay. If not, that's okay too. <laughs> Let's see. He took a sip of the oolong tea. It had the same smell, but it tasted a lot better. It wasn't as strong as the one you tried with Anders. It smells the same, but it tastes a lot better. Really? Yeah, I like it. That feels really nice. My body is slightly warmer now. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, do you know what goes well with this? A what? Stargazing. Look up. Whoa. How pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a while since I last saw it. Why are many reasons why I'm still here? You get to see this every night here. Well, if it's not cloudy, that is. It's beautiful. Look how beautiful the night sky looks like. Oh, try closing your eyes and listen to everything around us. You try closing your eyes like Tora suggested. Well, let's go there. I'm leaving soon. I want to see that place. I don't know. What if our parents find out? Oh, come on. Just once. We'll be fine. What? What's that? You look confused. Everything all right? Ah, yeah, all good. Okay then. Hey, I have something to ask you. Hmm? Go ahead. Are you still going to visit us in the near future? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Why did you ask? Oh, I'm just curious. That's all. Huh. Okay. You're from Highwell, aren't you? Yeah, I went there to study. Met all my friends there. I oh, wonder how hard it is over there. Considering Lars was homeless where I met him, I'd say that it's rough. I can't tell him that, though. Oh, it's not too different than Waterfront to me. Well, it's sort of a bustling little town. City Park has a lot of activity. Raleigh is a bit to the rural side, so it's really peaceful. Oh, I see. Sounds like a fun place to live in. I've only been there for a week, but yeah, I'd say so. Okay, okay. So why did you ask? You're not planning to move there, are you? <laughs> I was kidding. Uh, maybe I'm planning that now. I've never left water run my whole life, so I might plan for a trip soon. I've saved enough money to leave anyway. I don't want stopping me at all. Hmm. Well, I don't want to tell you. If you go into Highwell, I can at least offer you some hospitality. You have this big time in here, even though you're just doing your job. Do and say when you get there, it's the least I can do. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. It's not like it's too important that I'm rushing anyway. Everyone has moved on. I'm the only one that's still dwelling in the past. Man, I'm lame. No, you're not. Hmm? 
I totally understand where that's coming from. Honest, I do. You're not lame or at all, and please don't say that you are. Ah, you really remind me of him. Who is him? Ah, oh, just an old friend of mine I miss dearly. Oh, why don't you get in touch with him? Ah, oh, things happen, that's all. Like what I said, I still haven't moved on, but I really should. Things are ever-changing, I'm still here stuck in my own past. I'm sure they won't wait for me, no matter how much I regret what I've done. I shouldn't have sent that letter to him. Everything Anders and Mr Parker said resonated with this moment. It was clear he was enduring such painful memories. He didn't say anything to him, but he did pat him on the back. <laughs> embarrassing. I was here to offer you some comfort, but I ended up getting comforted. I was getting a little bit late. Ah, the cup. Let me take care of it. It's my job, after all. Oh, okay. Thanks again. I oh, don't mention it. I'll go back in. I think you should too. I'll be here for a bit. Hey, uh, one last thing. Hmm? You're too kind and experienced, Bruno. Some people might use that at their advantage and it might hurt you. But I hope you keep being your kind self. He said that before heading back into the inn. Kind and experienced, huh? That would translate to naive. What many times people have labelled me that? No use thinking about it. All I can do is keep being myself and move forward. Man, you felt powerful and wise when you said that. <laughs> uh, now it's getting colder. I shared back inside too. What a day. I really feel like doing a Rod Serling comment here. That very reminiscent of the Twilight Zone. <laughs> but that was Parker's Day 7, as Andy says here. I hope you enjoyed that. And this time we actually made it to the end. Uh, you may remember on Lars Day 7 there was a glitch with the programme. Which meant that they didn't quite end properly. But we have now seen those last couple of lines that were missing before. And before I do anything else, as always in these videos, thank you to all my patrons. It's very much appreciated. I know you don't have to do this. And my top patrons are Grizz, Evan King, David Taylor, The Beholder, Samuto, Brian Hall, Anubis Silverwind, Ida Corval, Brandon Bradford, Astian, Lark Huskerton, Marcus, Kopi, Gunamulla, Tiger Cub, Sindri Dragowolf, Dissonance, Pesuksu, Cobras Vissa, and Kartek. And if you want to support me, the link is in the description, and more importantly, all the links for After Class are in the description. You can also support and Aaron Rex on Patreon and give them some money towards making this, and then you can join the Discord. It's always fun. So that is it for After Class. We will be switching to Password on Saturday. We're back to Hammond Manor with Dean's Roots. And after that... I'm not too sure at the moment. I have to check my spreadsheet. Pretty much after Saturday's question mark, question mark, question mark. But there'll be Echo sometime before the end of the month. I do have to do that. And things are calming down now. Even with a new puppy in the house. It was very calm. He's asleep right now. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to these rambly bits at the end. And I'll leave you with the credits. Bye for now. <laughs>